Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this week's video I'll share with you how to create this 3D effect in Adobe Illustrator. So before we get started, I will share with you two easy methods to create this 3D effect. So let's get started. First, using the text tool, type the words that you'd like to create. Now for the font, I picked a bolder one and then I adjusted the fill color and the size and the position too. Now select the text, click on the type tab, then select create outlines. This will create outlines around each letter and makes you deal with it as an object instead of a text. Copy and paste the words and resize it to a smaller one. This smaller text should be the end where your 3D shape will extend. Now pick a different color for the text that will stay at the top. Then click on the smaller text, click Object, Arrange, then Send to Back. Now we'll copy then paste the smaller text. So here you'll notice that for the one that we have just recently pasted, I picked a darker color, but the one that is a bit lighter than the one beneath. And again, I clicked on Object, then Arrange, then Send Backward. Now, select the entire objects you have, then click on Objects, Blend, then Blend Options. Now adjust the number of steps you need based on your artboard size you're using, but here I set them at 150 steps. Now again select all your objects, then click on the object tab, then blend, then make. This will finally create the 3D shape of the letters. Now the result looks more blended than you would want, so to fix this we'll double click on the letters to get into the isolation mode and then copy the original letters, not the smaller ones at the back. Next, create a new layer and paste the letters, picking a lighter color just to make a distinction. So this is one way of creating a 3D shape with multiple but easy steps. Now to create the same 3D shape with a single tool, let's head over to the second way. We'll repeat the same steps as those in the first way. Simply use the text tool again to create your text. Pick your font and adjust the size and colors. Now click on the Effect tab, select 3D, then select the first option Extrude and Bevel. Now this tab would appear. Now adjust the angles according to the direction of shadows you would like. The blue face of the cube tells you that this is the front face of the text. So I adjusted the angle making it closer to the one that I just made earlier. In the surface option, you will find other options too, such as the fuse shading, plastic shading, and the other two ones. But for this video, I'll just pick plastic shading, and then I'll click OK. So yeah, that's it. This is how you get the basic 3D shape, and you can proceed and make further adjustments to it, add some drop shadow, or play with the highlights. 
that's it for today if you liked this video i'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and leave a thumbs up to see more of those videos thank you so much for watching